We have a, a poll in the, in the journal today that s seems to reflect a desire in the American public to retrench a little bit, to pull back from, from the world. Is that the sentiment that you see, that you see? Um, and it, it, is it understandable? Is it dangerous? I, I think there is certainly a war weariness uh, among the American public a after over a decade at war, after seeing our, our sons and daughters giving their lives in wars abroad. Uh, I, I think people are far more reluctant to, to engage in military conflict, uh, particularly when there is no clear uh, national security interest. Um, I think that there is a big difference between not wanting us to play the role of the world's policemen and not wanting us to send in our military to try to produce democratic utopias in distant lands, uh, neither of which are tasks for which the military is particularly well suited, nor is it, I think, their job. I think there's a big difference between that and believing that, that, that America should not be an outspoken voice for freedom. For example, I think we should be far more outspoken supporting what's going on in Venezuela right now. We're seeing rebels and students standing up for freedom and Maduro's using Cuban thugs to torture and murder the rebels and, and unfortunately the administration is being all but silent on this and I think there is a voice for freedom that the American people understand and respect uh, the, the power of, of, of the United States leadership in the world in addition to that I think it is a mistake to confuse war weariness with an unwillingness of the American people to defend our national security interests. So for example, if you look at the willingness of the American people to act and to act if necessarily militarily to prevent the nation of Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons capability, you see considerable support among the American people for protecting our national security, not for invading a nation and staying there for decades, but for acting to defend ourselves against clear and present dangers, I, I don't think the American people have retreated from a willingness to, to defend our nation. Senator Reid. Is it, is it isolationism? Is it war weariness? Is it something else? I think there are three factors that influence both intellectually and emotionally the American people, and polls reflect both thought and feeling. One is after 9-11, people understand that we can be hit. There's not the sense that I existed before of this action was sort of removed from us. We, and as a result, they're quite willing and, in fact, would insist that we take any action anywhere to preempt an attack upon us. The second is after Iraq, no boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. That has a effect in terms of playing out military scenarios, every military scenario that you can think of. You can take some steps, you can move things around, but if you don't think it all the way through, uh, then uh, you're not doing a service to the troops that have to carry out the mission. And the final issue is the economy. I think they feel very vulnerable economically. They wonder why these resources are being spent in ways that are not directly contributing to their progress, not just getting a job, but, but being paid an adequate amount for the job. And when you put those facts together, you come up with what was reflected, I think, in your poll today. I don't think it's a return to isolationism, because no one believes we're secure behind two vast oceans. I, I think what it is is that these factors are in turn, have been internalized by the Republic, and they're at a much different place than they were 10 years ago. And leadership, political leadership, has to recognize that and still make critical decisions to protect the long-term interests of the United States and do things that might not be immediately popular but are necessary.